Shin Virtuality here, and since it is my birthday, I wanted to have a run-through of the original, The Room. Um, if you're new to my channel, I did a playthrough of the fourth entry of The Room series called Old Sins. It was a fabulous little title, as they all are, um, but I just wanted to sort of go through these again and sort of record as well, so um, I guess spoilers ahead, but like, I mean, the game is what? Uh, well, it's been out for a while, so if you haven't played it yet, uh, by all means, go pick it up. You'll find it on the cheap uh, several times throughout the year, so there's no excuse. And, and I didn't realize you can actually move the camera in this intro title screen, so even there's the keyhole, but we have nothing to put into it. Can't turn the doorknob, though. Maybe in the next update. Not turning action on the title screen. Uh, anyway, uh, the room's, the, re the original room is not a very long game, so uh, we'll hop into a new game. We'll probably break this up into three separate episodes, uh, but we'll see how it goes. So, let's start ourselves a new game, and enter, or exit, the room. Tutorial. Tap the screen to begin. Uh, no, tapping the screen is too much for me, I gotta get out! Uh, no, we'll continue. Swipe the screen to look around. So yeah, it's very much... Double tap the envelope on top of the safe to focus on it. There's an envelope. A couple of things, but double tap. Slide. You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. The answers you seek are inside this box, along with something else. Something they said could never be built. It is the only one in existence, and it is the key to incomprehensible power. Nintendo power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. Well, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> With the enclosed key, I gift you one parting favor. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are as blind as the rest. A S. Alfred Smith. All right. Yes, I'm tapping the key. Small key with an animal motif. Rotate the lid to see the keyhole. Well, I guess. There it is. Yeah, the tutorial pretty much uh, holds your hand, so it's just not a problem. Like, I mean, you gotta... I open! Seriously. Open! Pick up the eyepiece. Curious eyepiece. Well, I'm wearing it. It doesn't do anything. Perhaps something is missing. What does the note say? Feed me, and I shall survive. Give me a drink, and I shall die. Okay. A riddle. The solution must be here somewhere. Alright, punch together to zoom out. You'll find the answer somewhere on the safe. Books of any importance? Some of my dusty old books. I don't think they'll help me here. Well, why are they on the safe? Put them away, jeez. Okay, so you have this big safe. Uh, but like I said, I've played this. I, I continue to go back to the room every now and again. Um, I actually wanted to sort of record 
playing the room last year on my birthday, but never really got into it. So this year I'm sort of fixing that remedy. Um, the room Old Sins still remains one of my... I don't think that's the answer. Um, still remains one of my highest viewed series, and I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Old Sins, please do, as with any of the other ones. Fire! Wood feeds it, water puts it out. I guess I should give it a push. And just so you know, you go to the other side. There's earth, air, fire. It's all Saturday up in here. Saturday! Water. I don't think that's the answer. Okay, so we know that the answer is fire. It's obviously a... Pretty simple riddle, so we'll push the button. Yes, 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 let's push it. And we have a peculiar old key. There's something unusual about this key. I should take a closer look. Alright, so you tap on the key. Oh, I can rotate it, can't I? Looks like I can turn the end to make the key into a different shape. This key is weird. But I've noticed some other things, so if I go here, see how this, this sort of bit slides over. Oh, this looks interesting, so uh, let's look at this key again. Almost looks like the shape, so we'll see if we can't... Yep, that'll do it. An ornately engraved metal plate. The end looks like it could be used as a wrench. Well, don't give me all the answers here. I mean, I know you're the tutorial and all. Yep, guess what? I might be able to unscrew this if I had something to grip it with. You mean like this ornately piece of metal? The other way. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. <gasps> a lens. It looks like it can fit into the eyepiece. Okay. Tap the eyepiece to wear. <gasps> oh my god! Someone had graffitied all over this place. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, and the music and sounds is very atmospheric in this game. Almost gave me the creeps the first time I played it, so... We'll just continue along. Okay, so we have something here. <gasps> Another shape. So if we turn this, maybe. This, yep. Click it back. But I don't see anything on these rings. One might say, one doesn't have the lens. Uh, so yeah, the middle piece doesn't rotate, so we'll just... This is just a matter of getting all the circles into the correct position. Something like... Yeah, I heard you were there. Alright. Fine then. I guess I'll have to do it a different way. Uh, no. Okay, so the middle... Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> Something happened. <gasps> it's open. Well, well. Let's take it out for a closer look. Chapter complete. Pleasing progress. But do you really think you have proven yourself yet? Um, yeah. Kind of. I mean, I've just beaten the game, right? Not quite yet. So we'll continue on with the next chapter in just a moment. All right, let's continue. And now this puzzle will be a little bit more involved, but these three seals stand between me and the contents of this box. Well, let's 
fix that then, shall we? Um, the name of the game is always to be observant and look for little clues hiding around the puzzle boxes so that you can collect pieces and progress as needed to. So, um, knowing that I've done this a couple of times, I see that this leg down there with the circular thing is sort of curious. Well, at least it lets me... Huh? There's an opening. Oh, look. Short piece of cotton. It smells like paraffin. All right. Take a look at that a little later. Anything. And normally, if you just don't know, you can just sort of tap wherever, wherever it looks a little ominous. And then if the camera zooms in, you know you're sort of on the right path. Oh, okay. Yep. Rise. Looks like a miniature telescope. Okay. Is there anything else in there? There is not. Uh, but also, let's scroll out, I also see this. So I know, since it's right here, that you got to match those symbols with the hints that it gives here. So it's sort of like a bucket with a stick, like a telephone wire sticking out of a bucket. So let's just go back here. And there you go. So, at least that one's done. Uh, let's take a look at the telescope. There we go. But I don't think we can do anything with it quite yet. Uh, let's go up to the top of the box. So there's something, star shaped indication, which we need to. Oh, there's another thing. It's sort of like a circle with a cross in it. So, let's go and do that. See, getting answers already. There we go, and... Plate with a lock symbol on it doesn't seem to move. Let me get my sledgehammer. All right, well, I'll still tap on a couple of things just to see. Play with an eye symbol on it. Doesn't seem to move. Okay. I still haven't used the eyepiece all that much to sort of see what's about here, so. Get to that momentarily. Oh, that's where we got the cotton from. Oh, there's some shimmering there. Aha! So... Oh, I see. Two. Seven's down there. Six and five. Two, seven, six, five. So two... Seven, six. I'm so smart. All right, so making some progress here. We know that the telescope goes on that, and down here is, I believe, where the that goes. All right. going on. There's nothing to see until I've got this contraption working. Oh. You mean I don't have it working? Fine. Oh. Another letter from Alfred Smith. February 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace. With these barbastic, barbaric instruments, I can barely read anything at all. But there is something there between earth and fire, between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. I'm like a bender. I'm like the Avatar. Uh, like the shadow of the object, without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that 
which casts it. It is the final element, null. It begins, it brings meaning to the rest. Just as all the members of the world are meaningless without their zero. Sorry, numbers. Man, I can't read. <laughs> the circle... Uh, the circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the purest of cow gold. It is the purest of this. Uh, okay. 107. So we got other forms to find, I guess. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Oh, there's something there. Come on. Get to it. No! There we go. Uh, so let's open. Looks like a winding mechanism, but there should be some sort of key. Okay. Because of these fingerprints, we know that there's something in this here. Ah. Ancient leather-bound book. The cover seems very ornate. Right. Uh, and then we got the building with a cross as that symbol. So let's go back around to that. Building with a cross symbol. So now that we've gotten three, we can probably brute force the first the last one and there it is a heavy cast iron key because sometimes it'll just I think the fourth puzzle piece was sort of at a at a point where we haven't unlocked yet but like I said it's it can only be one thing or the other right all right so the book needs to do something. Yeah, we just need to unlock it. Oh, look, a winding key. A key looks like we're winding up clockwork. All right. So let's go back to here. Yonky, yonky. Now maybe I can look into it. Oh my goodness. Get the feeling there's something more than that. I than more to that than I saw. Would the eyepiece reveal anything? Well, yes, it would. Thanks for ruining it. Trial or trail? No, trial. Trial. Come on, don't be an idiot. <laughs> what you wanted to see the image as anyway. Uh, we know the gist of that. Oh, we got the L. So, getting ever closer. I'm gonna guess it goes here. Not trail? Well, that's disappointing. Fine, I guess we'll make a trial. And there we have one of the seals opened. Two more, and I'll be in. What will you be into? And another contraption for us to ponder over. Oh, 
another note. Another note from Af Alfred Smith. May 8th, McAllister returns with the rubbings from Egypt. The pattern continues. The Tibet Tibetans call the null element space. To the he Hindus, it is ether. And now, to the Babylonians, it is simply up. The other direction, the realm of Ishtar of yet more significance of the is the recurring presence of this hexagonal glyph the same symbol repeated in cultures separated by countless centuries and the span of the globe who will tell me now that this is idle suggestion at superstition at work when my hands hold the first distilled sample they will recognize me then Presently, the skeptics have one more in their number. McAllister has quit my service. Maybe McAllister is a smart man for not sticking around. But, whatever. Alright. Uh, don't think we can do anything with this yet. Although it does seem... Like you would think it would go in here, but... It's the right shape, but the hole isn't tall enough. Oh, right. So, do we... Can we go over here? Okay, still need something there. safe dial, but there's a piece missing. Alright. Need the piece for the safe. Okay, so here's and this even takes part of the phone's gyroscope, so just need to move it around until the four pieces star. Oh. So you'll need another key, but I know this star will go up here. Chunk. Uh, Mr. Alfred, what do you have written for us today? June 21st. Take note of this date. It is the most significant in human history. I have done it. A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. Fatigued by my studies, I entered the chamber without disabling the mechanism. When I regained consciousness, I had succeeded. The null element is beyond curious, being neither quite energy nor matter. I have already made great strides in its study, specifically on how it refracts the light. Tonight, I open the wine. Well, hooray for you. I got some statues. Oh, look. And there was our last. Uh huh. Maybe. I see that there is one sort of corner that is sort of grayed out, so. that for any particular thing I can see of as of yet but no so let's just go with the obvious so what do we
Okay, so this puzzle you just need to go in a correct sequence. Yep. So one, two, three, all the way over that, over here, and then there we go. So does this need two fingers? Yup. Alright, so let's go back here. Let's look at the key because it probably will want us to do something with it. Right, let's back out. So we want hmm, sort of end up on its when I insert it on its left side. So, we don't have to, okay, so I think it was that way, and then this, uh, I believe it was the other way, we'll find out in a minute, key doesn't look quite right, okay, no, the, um, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, oh, and it's nice enough to actually Sort of outline the shape that it needs to be. Good chunk. But I could have done it without that. Circular plate with a star emblem. Alright. So where else do I need to go here? that. The second seal is open. Just one more to go. Let's see if we can get it done. Alright. Uh, let's... Alright, lots of stuff to play with around here. Guess I would need a screwdriver for that. for that. Alright, let's go. Oh, no. It's hard to tell what exactly, but something is missing here. Considering it's not working. I mean, seriously. Alright, let's go to the other side. Oh, yep, there's another one. Alright, so... Aha, so that's where that motif goes. So... Uh, let's see, so which one was up here? It was this guy. That was the square piece, so... Like, all right, no, square needs to go all the way over there. Okay, so that works for that piece, but we still got three more to find, so no worries there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There's one right here. Uh, okay, so if we go back here, oh, we need, we need some gear pieces. No, I don't need a hint. Okay, so that piece is at the right place. I got two more, the circle and the triangle to find. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Nope. That gotten there yet. Ah, there's one. Circle. So then I just need one more. One more. I'm not sure where it would be. Okay, 
something comes out from behind one of those statues, which we're not ready for yet. I'm still missing stuff. <sighs> and I'm sure there's just something right in front of my face that I'm just not seeing. That. That's not what I'm looking for. This piece would be somewhere close by. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything from not having the lens on, but it doesn't seem like it. it doesn't seem like it quite right, quite yet. Already looked at that. Uh -huh. Oh. Yep, like I said, it was right in front of my face and I didn't even realize it. So there we go. Plastic band and a gear. So let's finish this off. All right, we're getting close. So where are, where are you? Ah. Small screwdriver. Just shake the camera. Blah! There we go. Get it? There we go. Peculiar folding key. Uh, let's go back over here. Can we? So if we switch that over. We need the folding, the folding key first. Golden key. Uh, okay, let's go up here. I think that's the way it goes. Haha. <laughs> first try. Another cog. to be of interest in here. It doesn't look like it. So back over. Da -da. Feels like I can take this off again. Alright, yes. I get it, I get it, I get it. Medium sized cog. Back over here. And this is where the rubber band comes into effect. Again, I shake my head rather than actually turning the mechanism. Well, it's working now, so if we do that... Oh. 
long narrow steel tube. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. What kind of small key? And an old photograph. Rev 605. Uh, but I can't use my thing there. But, uh, nope, key first. Key first. There it is. Ooh. Make the symbol. There we go. Shield crest. And nothing else, I think, up there. So let's visit these guys again. You're missing something. You're missing that. An oval gemstone. Was an oval thing over here. So let's do that. Right. <laughs> what do we do? Ah. All right, six oh five. Look at that. Chapter complete. Pleasing progress. But do you really think you have proven yourself yet? <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, that will be the first two chapters. I will take a pause for the cause and we'll pick it up with, I think, stages three and four in the next episode. Um, but yeah, pretty cool game, even if it is an oldie, it's still a, very much a classic. Uh, so, like I said, if you haven't played the game or just feel like playing it again, pick it up, give it a shot. Uh, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>